Hi guys, welcome to the short video about Android cleaners. I mean, cache or storage cleaners. If you have always been wondering how good these things are and what they are doing, if they are really uh, effective or not, this is uh, probably the video for you. What I've been doing here, I have two really identical smartphones regarding the storage they have uh, identical uh, ram or, and rom they have 64 gigabytes of storage which i can use and i have the same app so here that's my normal uh, phone it has currently 5.1 gigabytes of storage free which is even a good value yesterday it was a little bit lower i think about 2.9 gigabytes then i have made a large upgrade uh, from the miui i mean that's the xiaomi me 8 Lite, and they had really a huge upgrade and so I think they cleared some cash already. I mean, I can invoke this thing, this cleaner. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can do this 100 times. It doesn't help. Uh, I can go into this chunk file thing and then they will show me. Yeah, uh, yeah, we can clean 10 gigabytes or whatsoever, 8 gigabytes. Yeah, that sounds pretty impressive. You think, oh, wow. That's a lot, that's really useful. And uh, it's scanning and scanning. And yeah, now it went a little bit down, but at least it stayed at 6.4 gigabytes. That looks impressive. And you think, okay, it's worth to keep it. But when you go out of this ad here anyway. So uh, here I have the real storage, which is available. And you can check that. And uh, you can check that in 10 minutes, you can check that in an hour or tomorrow or uh, whenever you want to, che to check. So usually it won't change, it will stay at this 5.1 gigabytes. So it's just, it looks like for me, it's just showing something uh which is impressing then the users and they keep using the thing because they think that's uh, helpful most of the people that they don't have this widget and they are not going to check they, they just think okay yeah, i've cleaned a lot now i'm good i i, I can use this thing for a while no it uh, usually doesn't do anything that's just one thing where they are really good i'm going to show that later but uh, so real a lot of effective cleaning it's not doing we can even reboot the phone here in the meantime so we'll have really the latest numbers here so i've rebooted the phone and we are uh, seeing the latest numbers on free space and you can see it has improved to 5.4 gigabytes but nothing about 6 gigabytes what it uh, pretends to have cleaned no it's not working it's not happening these are yeah i mean at least as far as i can see total scammer apps they want to deceive you and they want the that you keep them uh, alive and they can show you ads and ads and ads they're full of ads it's crazy so at the end probably it will fill up your phone even more so it's no a uh, big surprise that a lot of websites and i mean not no name websites but big uh, tech websites they recommend to just delete this thing go here and delete this thing here so can go to app info here and then delete this is what i'm going to do after that yeah i don't have to do that now but anyway you can see it's not doing much and yeah but how is it i mean i have been backing up everything from here all the apps which are here they are here as well so how is it then i mean okay we we have been seeing that it's not cleaning a lot i mean it's pretending to clean uh six gigabytes but it's uh, it has just clean i think uh, 300 megabytes or so so uh, just very very few but maybe we can assume that it was not possible to clean uh, more 
so maybe it was not really the clean master's fault uh yeah maybe i mean yeah the numbers which are wrong it's not really promising but maybe there was really not more to clean and that's just after having all these apps here it's just 5.4 gigabytes available space here so let's check on this uh, phone here by the way yeah what i did i mean that's a new phone and i've been backing up everything when you set up a new android phone it will ask if you want to transfer everything all the user accounts all the data all the apps everything i have about i think 220 apps on this phone so uh, I started to install, I mean, this is an automatic process in the background, I didn't have to do anything, so I have all the apps now as well here, same amount of apps here and here, and when we check on the available storage here, so here we are, I mean, by the way, that's the Aukitel K9, if you want to know what phone that is, it's a 7.1 inch, super large uh, phone, and it has 6000 milliampere uh, hour battery crazy thing so when we go down in the setting we'll, we can see 37 percent used i mean not 37 percent free it's 37 percent used so we have 40.63 gigabytes free here we have 5.5 here we have 40.63 gigabytes of storage free is exactly same amount of apps same amount of accounts and that's really telling me that this thing here that's this cleaner master or whatever you use i mean there are so many similar things not only cleaner master but similar things uh, they have tested a lot of these things and most of them are working in a similar way and people are saying they fail uh, same thing and we can definitely see yeah they, they are not working i mean it should be now down to something like that use 23.3 gigabytes and most of it is still free like 40 gigabytes of free and if it cannot do this uh, so there's actually no need i mean this 0 0.4 gigabytes usually we can go to the uh, system and usually with most of the phones they provide their own cleaning thing for for cash and they're not coming with some uh, ads or so i mean we have this here this is about the phone here and says yeah okay there's a lot of storage occupied we can click on that and we can then uh, click on free up space here so we see also some details we can click on free up space and then we have some options and it will definitely clean at least as much as these cleaning tools would clean yeah here they're saying uh, about same thing cleaning up 5.3 gigabytes uh, probably not much more successful maybe a little bit and maybe that would be also interesting to see what they are doing let's do a restart here so we are here again after rebooting after using the built-in show me cache clean and you can see now we are at 9.5 gigabytes so way more successful than this cleaning app so you can definitely uh, put this thing into trash but there's just one thing i promised you to show you that and it, this is really something that i mean that's the only thing which i think is useful from this cleaning apps and maybe a reason why to keep it when we go to it we can find some cleaning option for social media like whatsapp and other things so i think that's here in advanced cleaning so that's the thing here we have to wait for a little bit till it has scanned everything and that's the thing which i think really works like cleaning from whatsapp from gallery and from telegram we see there's a lot let's say we click on whatsapp and we see that we have like images which friends or family have been sending and uh, so we can then go into video messages and click on that and let's say we can choose that we want to delete everything a half a year 
ago or within half a year or within one month and it shows the size and then we can decide and then delete this thing. This is usually something which does not exist in the built-in cleaners and it has helped me a lot, especially when you get large video files from friends and family through WhatsApp and Telegram and other things. This is the thing which has helped me a lot, but that's really the only thing which I have found in these cleaners. Apart from that, it's more like just waste and uh, I'm really not going to use these things a lot. If I just need normal cash cleaning, then I'm using the uh, phones built in cleaner and only if I want to get rid of some uh, photos and videos from this messaging tool. So yeah, that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or other opinions on that, please write everything down into the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.